Hi, today we will be discussing a problem on stack. What is a stack? Stack is a data structure which has a property called as leap forward. It means the last in, last out. In short, last in, last out means the element which comes last gets out of the data structure first. So, simple implementation of stack is like this. If I have like these numbers put on to stack, then 1 will come first, 2 will go, 3 will go. Now, if at this point, if I pop or we I take out an element from the stack, the last element which was entered, that is 3, will be, co will be coming out first. So, this is last in, first out. If I enter 4 now, so this will go and 4 will be at the top. If I now pop, 4 will come out because that was the last element which was entered. And if I again enter 5, this will be the 5. Now, if I pop 5, it pop, the 5 will be returned. Then again, if I pop, 2 will be returned, which was entered after 1. And the 1 was first to be entered and it will be the last to go out. So, it is LIFO data structure. I have a problem today which uses this stack in data structure to solve it efficiently. The problem statement is like, given a list of stock price, we need to find the span of a day. What do we mean by span? Span is number of consecutive days when stock price was less than the current day. And number of consecutive days prior to this day when the stock price was less than the current day. Let's take an example and see. Let's say I have stock price list as 100, 60, 70, 65, 110, 120. So this is the, my stock price on day 0. I had 100 as a price. Six, on the next day I had 60. On the next it was 70 and so on. I have to find out what is the span. How many number of days prior to this day the stock price was less consecutive days right so initially if i initialize span of i should be count of days consecutive days where consecutive days j where j is less than i and a of j or the price of j is also less than price of i so this is the condition if i take this example and span of 0 is always 1. So, in this particular output, span will be for 0, it will be 1. 60, there is no day before it where the price was less than 60. So, it will be again 1. At 70, there was one consecutive day that is 60. Right? So, span is 2. At 65, even though 60 is less than 65, it is not consecutive. 70 is greater than 65. So, again, 65 will have only 1 as span. Now, when, when we come to 110, 65 is less, 70 is less, 60 is less, 100 is less, and then we fall out of the array. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. The span of the this day is 5. What is the span of 120? It will be. So, this is the output. How can we do this? One of the brute pairs solution is using two iteration that is for each i go through j less than i and find the consecutive days which have price less than a of i what is the complexity of this algorithm complexity of this algorithm is o of 1 n square can we do it better as well, as i said while explaining we are interested in only one fact the fact is that when was the last i saw a price which was greater than my price so that's the information i need to store so i don't need to go all the way till the i equals to zero or j equals to zero i can just stop where i saw the price which was greater than my price or the today's price i can always store that so i want to the last greatest uh, price seen if the last price seen was greater than me that means i have no choice but i have to subtract the index of that day with in from index of current day and get the span what if the price last seen was less than me? if it was less than me then i have to figure out what was the day when the price was greater than my price today
so i will just go back again and see the first greatest price which was greater than me what kind of data structure this is coming out to be it is lifo that means the last price which we are interested in and lifo is implemented by stack so how what do we stack store on the stack <clears throat> i will take an example of this array that is 165 70 110 80 90 120 i will store the price onto the stack so when i see the first 100 i put onto the stack that will be the initial stage of my stack and the processing now i go to the next 65 what i see that 65 is less than top of the stack that is 100 that that means i have already encountered a price which was greater than me i will just take that day's index that is 0 subtract it from my index that is 1 minus 0 so my span will always become 1 and i will push this 65 onto stack what happens next is i encounter 70 now 70 is greater than top of the stack that means i have ability or i have capacity to go beyond 65 that means the last uh, price which was encountered is less than me so that cannot be on the top of the stack so i'll push this out and i'll go to 100 now 100 is greater than 70 right that that means that is the end that is the end of my span so i'll subtract what was the index of my element that is 2 and what is the index of the price at the top of the stack it is 0 so span will become 2 and i'll push 70 onto the stack now the next thing 110 what happens 70 is again smaller then i'll pop 100 is also smaller than 110 so i will pop that out now what happens stack becomes empty when stack becomes empty we'll just push the next element into this and my span will become index of the array plus 1 that is in this case it will be 4 the span of 110 will become 4 that is 0 1 uh, sorry 1 2 3 and 4 now 80 comes since 80 is less than top of the stack we will not do anything we will just subtract the index current index and the top of the stack index and store that put that onto the stack now 90 comes 90 is greater than top of the stack so we will pop out 80 and push in 90 and the span will be index of the element 90 minus index of the top of the stack that is 3 so span will be true now 120 comes it is greater than 90 yes it is also greater than 110 so we'll pop them out and since only uh, empty stack remains we'll push 120 and the stock span will be the current index of the day and plus one that is seven this is how this algorithm works we'll write a function called as void stock span and we'll pass the int of array prices and the size of array. We'll define, uh, I'm assuming that stack implementation is already provided. So we'll define stack as S and initialize that stack. That means initializing the top element stack. Now, before going on to the, all the elements from the array, what I'll do, I'll push A of zero onto the stack and I'll mark span of 0 equals to and so this is done now we will go through all the elements from i equals to 1 till the time i is less than size and i plus plus we will pop out all the elements which are less than current element so while a of i that means the price of current day is greater than peak of stack that means we are peeking into the stack and getting the top of the stack if it is greater than just pop the element when we exit this loop we'll have the first element which has price greater than current days index now what happens if stack is empty then we had one formula that was span of i is i plus one as we saw if it is not empty let's say stack is not empty then what will be the span span will be the index of the element at the top of the stack that is the index of the current day 
minus e of stack that means the index of the day which is which has a price greater than this current day and it is on the stack so that's all and what else we will do we will push this element onto stack so if you see we are not storing the actual price onto the stack we are storing the index of the day of that price right we are not storing 100 or 120 we are storing as a 0 1 that the, those are the indexes on which the price was greater than the current day's price so this is a simple implementation of stock span algorithm now the complexity of this problem or the stock span problem is o of n with extra memory of o of n because all the elements might end up onto the stack thank you very much for watching